In this video, we quickly demonstrate the use of the XY path modifier, which provides separate animation curves for the X and Y axes. We start with a trivial example of a bouncing ball, but we'll have a look at XY paths with the tracker later. We begin with a simple ellipse, which we animate by right clicking on the center control and selecting modify with XY path. Now we can apply animation to this and we get separate spline curves for the X and the Y component of the motion. We're going to start by setting a key and we'll move that to frame 75 with a value of 1 so that we're moving across the x-axis. Then we're going to add a second key at around frame 11. We'll uh, use the set key menu option to keep the same value and we'll put that on the y-axis. Of course we're also going to insert a new key around frame 5 and this will be our bouncing. So we're going to have it move up about uh, 0.8 and bounce. We use the duplicate menu to take the selected points and copy them five times. And then we use the shape box in order to uh, extend the time a little bit and to taper the animation so that as the ball bounces it loses energy and gets less uh, height with each bounce. Because we're losing energy we'll turn back on the X curve and we'll start with some initial acceleration so it's bouncing quickly and then it starts to slow down on the x-axis as it loses energy. All right, now that's how we use the modifier for uh, just simple XY path animation. But when we're working with a tracker, we're going to want to be able to use an XY path instead of this default uh, path type, which is a displacement path. So this is one of the more frequently requested features uh, for Fusion 6. And in Fusion 6, you now have the ability to either convert the tracked path into an XY path. So you see here we have a displacement path, or you can have that as a default. So we want to take this displacement and we want to convert it. So we right click on the tracker tool, we select script, and we run the convert path to XY path script. This brings up a dialog that lets us set the start frame, the end frame, which uh, path we want to convert. And that will bake through the animation and convert all of those points into an XY path instead of the original displacement path. Now if you want that to be the default, go into the preferences. And under the splines panel, set the preferences to XY path. In this case, we'll add a second tracker, we go to add a pattern, and this time our pattern will track directly to an XY path. Now keep in mind, if this is something that you want for every composition in every tracker, set that in the global preferences. If it's just for this composition, then set it in the spline panel for just this composition's preferences. And as you can see, we've got our tracked center on the X and Y path. And that's all there is to using the XY path modifier in Fusion 6. One last change for those of you who have used the XY path modifier in the past, it is now possible to edit XY paths directly in the display view as of Fusion 6.